Hey loves, welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time coming across my channel. This channel focuses on my weight loss journey and also my family life. I show what I eat in a day, what I eat in a week, room makeovers, things of that sort. If that is something that might interest you, definitely consider subscribing. So yes, you guys, today I am back with another what I eat in a day video. This will be a two day edition. Both days will be low carb, one more kind of on the go and one more like at home, but kind of quick meals that you could put together as well. This video is in partnership with Factor. I will let you know a little bit more about them later, but for right now, let's go ahead and get into what I eat in a day, low carb. Okay guys, so today is Tuesday. The time now is probably like 3.30, 3.45 and I'm just now having my first meal. So what we have here is some chicken apple sausage links and I saw these at Costco and I was like, you know what? I need to pick these up. They sound super delicious. I have some coleslaw in the refrigerator that's about to go bad. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. Make me a nice creamy coleslaw salad. And then I have my sugar free barbecue sauce and my low carb bread. So yes, you guys, this is my first meal. I'm about to taste test this for you guys. So let's go ahead and taste this. This is what it's looking like. It's gonna be messy, girl. Mm, mm, mm. My goodness. This is so delicious. So delicious. Oh my gosh. These chicken sausage links are delicious. And with the crunch of the coleslaw, girl, the barbecue sauce coming through, this right here is delicious. This is a meal. So yes, you guys, definitely try this out. If you have a Costco membership, definitely try this out. Bomb. Okay, you guys, so the time now is 7.17 and I am hungry, so I'm about to get started on dinner. Now, I picked up this fajita chicken kit from Costco when I got the those sausages. Oh my God, I tried those sausages, okay? I just wanted to find something that was quick and easy to make because I've been really busy lately, so hopefully this does taste good. It's already fully cooked. You're just basically like heating and serving. If anything, I'll just be adding like some salt and pepper or something of that sort. Now, I do have limited cooking space because me and Bay were cooking both at the same time. He has his own meal, I have my own meal for right now because, you know, I'm trying to keep it low carb and he's trying to keep it Jamaican, okay? Oh, this is babe's dinner. Okay, you guys, so here are my finished tacos. And oh my gosh, y'all, at first when I was doing the chicken, I was like, oh my gosh, this is looking quite iffy. It didn't look like it tastes good. And I'm so glad that I tasted it first because I was about to go in with the salt, the pepper, the garlic powder, everything else. And to my surprise, it was perfectly seasoned. And for me to say something is perfectly seasoned is like, no, I can always add something. It had a nice little kick to it. It had a little bit of spice. It had just the right amount of salt. 
and everything else. So yeah, you guys, let's go ahead and give this a taste test as a whole. Okay, this is what it's looking like. Mm, mm, mm. Delicious, a 10 out of 10, especially for this to be like literally a 10 minute meal. And I paid $15 for it and it is so much left over. I'm probably gonna use it for tomorrow as well because Look how much I got. I still have pretty much like a whole pan left. So yes, you guys, this would be great for like, you know, a family dinner or something really quick. And all you have to do is make your shells and you're done. So yes, you guys, this is what I'll be having for dinner. Okay, you guys. So today is kind of going to be on the go. I already had two appointments today and now I am just leaving from the bank and it is maybe like going on one maybe like 12 40 ish and the bank is next to a Starbucks so I'm going to stop by Starbucks and get a little snack because I haven't made it home yet and I'm starting to get hungry and yeah and then we'll see what I have once I get home because yeah, I got stuff to do. I have to prepare for some videos that I have to do for the fashion channel. And I just got a few things. So yeah, today it's gonna be busy. Um, yes, actually, can I get um the bacon egg bites and um a grande iced coffee with no classic, three pumps of sugar-free vanilla and heavy whipping cream? That's it. Okay, thank you. So yes, you guys, that is what I'll be having right now. And then I'll show you once I'm like ready to have my actual meal. Okay, you guys, so I just got home about 15 minutes ago and look at what was on my porch when I got home. So happy because I don't have to cook. <laughs> yes, you guys, my factor box just came in. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this open. Okay, you guys, so we're about to get this box open. Y'all, if you've been watching my channel, you already know that I have been loving Factor. But if this is your first time hearing of them, here is a little bit more about them. Factor delivers fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. So it's basically meal prep done for you and delivered to you. And their team of gourmet chefs create each meal using only ingredients with integrity to help you feel your best all day long. They offer keto, calorie smart, chef's choice, and vegan and vegetarian options, which include seafood, meat, and plant-based meals to meet a variety of lifestyles. Factor is perfect for those days on the go or the days when you just simply don't feel like cooking. It's no prep and no mess. Factor cuts out stressful meal planning and extensive prepping, so meals come together in minutes, so you don't have to worry about what you're gonna make for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. They offer variety with a rotating weekly menu of 25 plus meal options, and they are owned by the same company as Green Chef, so you know their meals are delicious. What I personally like about Factor is that it helps me with my busy lifestyle. We all know that I cook a lot, probably more than most, and it feels great to not have to sometimes. It cuts down on my trips to the grocery store and the time in front of the stove so that I have more time to do other things that I enjoy. To have healthy options readily available to me, ready in about two minutes is so convenient and it really helps me to stay on track. So I definitely recommend for you guys to check out Factor. Head to go.factor75.com slash for show 120 and use code for show 120 to get $120 off. Again, head to go.factor75.com slash for show 120 and use code for show 120 to get $120 off. Okay, guys. So that is Factor. Again, I definitely, definitely recommend them. I'll be sure to have all of their information in the description box below for you guys. And let me show you guys what exactly I got in my box. Okay, so my first meal is the, I think this is pronounced Yia, Yia Greek Beef Bowl. Now, this one I've had before and I really do enjoy. And normally I'll pair it with a low carb tortilla and just scoop all that goodness in a tortilla very very delicious 
this is what it looks like. It also comes with garlic zucchini and spiced sour cream. Our next meal is pork tenderloin and cheesy cabbage. Now I wanted this one because I was like, I've never had cheesy cabbage before. So I definitely wanted to try that out. This is what that one looks like. It's pretty saucy. So we got sauce all over the plastic film. You can't really see inside of it, but you get the gist. Okay, we have our pork on this side and then this one is paired with some garlic butter green beans. Our next one is the creamy Parmesan chicken. This is what that one looks like. So this is paired with roasted broccoli and tomatoes. And it looks like we have a grilled chicken breast and then under here, some type of creamy goodness. And we have our garlic butter on top of this with our veggies. So that's this one. Our next one is the keto poblamo bowl. And this is what it's looking like. It looks like it got some cheesy goodness in here. I'm thinking I might have this one either for dinner or for right now. This one is paired with roasted broccoli rice and scallion and sour cream. Now I've never really had riced broccoli. Of course I've had rice cauliflower. So it'll be interesting to see how this one tastes. So our next meal is the smothered mushroom pork chop. This one is quite creamy as well. So I can't really see inside of there, but yes, this is what that one is looking like. And this one is paired with cauliflower mash and roasted zucchini. Okay, and our last one is the keto Monterey spinach chicken. That sounds so delicious. Sounds cheesy and good. Let's see what it's looking like. Okay, yeah, I'm seeing all kind of cheesy goodness all up in here. I might actually have this one right now. We shall see. But this one is paired with sun-dried tomato, alfredo, and cauliflower grand gratin. How do you say that? Gr 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 girl, don't give me the <laughs> gratin, I believe. Yeah, but I'm probably saying that wrong. But this one is nine net carbs. I think they're all 10 net carbs or less, most of them. So yes, you guys, that is what I got in my box. I also got these factor smoothies which i really do enjoy they help me like in between meals or if i'm kind of intermittent fasting i might have some of these until i'm ready for my next meal they have no added sugar it's nine total sugars in here no added sugars and four grams of protein and four grams of dietary fiber and then for the entire bottle it is only 120 calories so yes you guys this is like a perfect little in-between snack or if you're maybe doing intermittent fasting you might want to have you know one of these until you're ready for like a solid meal so yes you guys this is everything that i got in my box and now i'm about to warm one of these up because sis is hungry Okay, you guys, so here is my finished meal. Again, this is our Keto Pobamo Bowl. I just added a pinch of extra cheese. It's already cheese kind of melted inside of there, but I just added a pinch of extra cheese for a little bit of garnishing. And then I added a low carb tortilla to this because I'm going to just scoop everything together. I'm not sure if I'm going to add the riced broccoli inside of my meat or not but I'm thinking I'm gonna do that and then put it in you know get pieces of my tortilla and scoop it up with that and then top it with our Greek sauce so yes you guys this is what I'll be having for my first meal and let me just do a quick taste test of the meat so you guys can know how it's tasting so this is what it's looking like mm -mm -mm. very good has a light Mexican type of flavor to it. Maybe a tiny, tiny kick of spice, but yes, very, very delicious. And I'm about to tear this up. So yes, you guys, this is my first meal.
Okay, you guys, so the time now is, it's pushing six and I've got a lot done. I'm very happy about that. So I'm in my son's closet right now because literally I have no room in my closet. I have no room in my office closet. Like I really need to do a refresh and give away a whole bunch of clothes, sell a whole bunch of clothes. Like you have no idea how many bags of clothes that I have to sell and then bags that I just want to give away. There's so many things I've only worn one time and I just put it in a bag to sell it later. But I think I need an assistant y'all. Like there's no way that I can run the things that I need to run, like sell the clothes in my closet. Like I can't do it and then do everything else I need to do. So until I figure that out, I have a ton of brand new clothes to do something with. But anyway, so I'm using my son's closet and I finished the things that I needed to do. I'm going to have to film some content for Reb dolls and I needed to steam some of the clothes, iron some of the clothes. So I pretty much did all that. That took me a couple hours. I caught up on some YouTube videos while I did that. So I got that done. I'm happy about that. And now I want to work on my son's wall. If you saw my previous video. So basically I am working on my son's bedroom, like a teenage boy bedroom makeover. And he has this wall where his computer is at. And instead of putting art here, he's really, really into music. Like he loves music. Like he will be in here and I'm thinking he's watching Netflix or something like that. And he just has his music playing and he's just relaxing. Like he loves music. So I want to do something music related to this wall just so that it's not playing here. So I ended up finding this music collage kit off of Amazon and it has all of these different album covers on it, like um, pictures of album covers. And it just really looks cute and teenage like, and I ran it by him and he absolutely loved the idea. So I'm gonna try to put this up while he's away. He's staying with family for a couple weeks. So yeah, I'm hoping that I could finish his whole room and surprise him for when he comes back. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do that, but at least I'm gonna be working on some things while he is away. Let me show you a couple of them that's inside of here. So I don't know all these people, but they have them in, a, you know, I know Tupac, come on now. Um, but yeah, they just have like popular album covers and and yeah, I just thought it was like really cute, eclectic and perfect for a teenage boy's room. So, I mean, I'm not going to put any specific ones up. I'm just going to go and go ahead and put them up in the pack as I see fit. So, yes, you guys, I'm going to show you a couple of clips of me getting that together. Okay, you guys, so this is what I've been able to complete so far. It's almost going on eight now. I think it's like 7.40 and y'all, I am sweating. I mean, it doesn't seem like as much, but it is, you know, kind of time consuming. It's probably been, I don't know, maybe close to an hour or 45 minutes, something like that. But I really like how it's coming out so far. It's just bringing some color and life into his room and it matches his personality. So I know that when he sees it, he's gonna love it. And it's something that is fairly easy and affordable to do. So yeah, if you guys have a teen or just a music lover in the house, definitely consider using these. I'll um, be sure to link everything down below. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to finish everything today. I'm starting to get hungry now. So we'll see if I'm getting the motivation, then I will finish it all today. But because he's not going to come home today, I might finish the rest of this tomorrow. But yes, you guys, it is beautiful. I am loving it. And I hope that he does too. Okay, guys. So the time now is about 8 30 and y'all I am tired I don't think I'm gonna finish the project tonight 
I've already lost light and then tomorrow I have a busy day because I'll be filming fashion content so yeah I don't know if I do end up finishing it prior to this video going up then I will insert like a picture of the finished look and then again you'll see it all over again when I do like the final reveal of his whole room but for right now I am hungry and I am so happy I have these factor meals because I don't feel like cooking and it's already 8 30 so yeah that's that i'm gonna go ahead and make this keto monterey spinach chicken so this one is nine net carb and it comes with a sun-dried tomato alfredo and the cauliflower gratin Grint, gratin <laughs> Girl, i don't know what i'm saying but yeah let's go ahead and warm this up Hey guys, so here is our finished dinner. Again, this is the Keto Monterey Chicken with spinach, alfredo, and cauliflower. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and give it a taste test because it is looking really good. And this sauce underneath here is nice and like a thick, good sauce. I didn't know if it was gonna be like watery or what, but it looks really good and creamy. So yeah, yeah. So this is what it's looking like. Let's go ahead and taste it. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, this is a super, super good. The sauce is nice and creamy. It's giving you an Alfredo cheesy type of situation going on. You got a little bit of the spinach happening. Let's go ahead and taste the rice. It tastes like some cheddar or something inside of the cauliflower rice as well. One thing that I do like about these meals, it seems like all of it can mix together really well. So I could put some of this inside of the sauce and make it even cheesier and just cut it all up and make it one if I want to as well. That's what I did with the last meal. I put the cauliflower rice inside of the beef and the cheese and just mix it all together and then use my tortilla and then topped it with the sauce so yeah I love that I can mix it all together and just make it one bomb delicious meal so yes you guys I'm hungry I'm about to go ahead and tear this down and this is what I'll be having for dinner all right y'all I tow that dinner up fully cleaned my plate it was delicious and now I have a little bit of a sweet tooth so I'm gonna have one of these no sugar added fudge pops the serving size on this is three pops and it is okay 28 carbs seven seven sugar alcohol so it's 21 net carbs for three and yeah so I'm gonna have one a seven net carb so I'm gonna have one of these for my dessert so yes you guys and that will conclude today so yes you guys that concludes what i eat in a day low carb i hope you enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed filming it for you and if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up make sure you guys check out factor in the description box below and until my next video have a blessed day have a blessed week and i'll see you in my next one bye Thank you.